Hi, this is going to be a mini foot paw based tutorial. Um, I'm not going to be showing like any in depth um, processes, I guess, but mainly like how the parts are going to be put together. I'm also going to be showing um, the lining process and I'm adding a lining pattern because a lot of you guys have been asking for it. So let's get into it. I'm going to be making one foot paw in this tutorial. You'll need your sole. Um, if you're going to be adding lining, you'll need your lining all sewn up. And you're also going to need your pieces cut out. I'm not going to be showing um, like how to cut out the pieces, but these are all the things that you're going to need as well as hot glue and pins if you want you don't really have to use them but i prefer them you won't need scissors or cutting materials or anything you'll just need all of these to put everything together i also uh forgot to mention that yoga mat material is really good if you are using the lining method instead of installing shoes because um, it gets really strenuous on your feet if you don't have anything that is like a cushion so I also forgot to mention that you'll want to uh, cut an angle into the bottom of your toe piece. So this this would be how the toe would lay, um, and then this is the bottom of your toe piece. So you'll want to take your scissors and cut them at an angle. This is how it started off, this is how it ended up. Um, you'll see later why this is important. All right, getting into how you need to put the pieces together, these are the two pieces that you are going to put together at first, your two base pieces. You're going to line them up and you're going to glue this seam together as well as these two seams. So it's going to make a whole base piece. Once you glue that together, you can glue it down to the uh, sole and then you'll have something that looks like this. You'll then want to take your outer toe pieces and glue them together. Once you've gotten to this part where um, you have glued the outer toes down to the sole, make sure that there's no um, gap around where you're gluing and then tuck this toe in and glue it down. When you're done with that, you'll have something that looks like this. Then you can go ahead and add your liner. Um, with my method of adding the yoga mat, you will have to cut part of the inner toe off at the end to make sure that it fits kind of on top of everything, but it won't affect like anything about the foot at all. Um, it's just kind of how I do it.